Hello pilots of the internet and welcome to Foldable Flight. In this video I am teaching you how to fold one of the coolest paper jets you have ever seen. This is Anaconda designed by Ethan Wong and it is one of the grand prize winners of this year's contest. As you can see, Anaconda is just an amazing looking paper airplane with these very cool canards, these diamond shaped wings, this dramatic tail fin. This plane looks amazing. It just does. But it actually performs quite well too with a range of up to 70 feet. This is just an awesome paper airplane. Ethan, honestly, you blew my mind with this one. So congratulations on creating such a great design and congratulations on being one of the grand prize winners of this year's contest. Now, as the grand prize winner, you get access to the template I have designed for your plane. And of course, all of my patrons get access to this template as well, which of course, I'm really proud of and I think adds a lot to the plane. I actually worked especially hard on this template. You can see it has this illustration on the tail of the plane and I'll put it on screen as well with an anaconda actually destroying an enemy aircraft. So if you want to fold a plane that looks just like this one, head over to patreon.com slash foldable flight and support the channel there. And with all of that out of the way, let's see this plane in flight and then I'll teach you how to fold it. All you will need in order to fold Anaconda is a square sheet of paper. And you can see I'm using one that's about eight by eight inches, but you could go smaller than this and you could certainly go much larger than this as well. It is a two color design. So you can see here, the side you start with face up is going to be this section of the plane and the face down side is going to be the front and the tail of the plane. Of course, if you're using paper that's the same color on both sides, it does not matter. And if you're using the template, just follow the instructions on the template. And with all of that out of the way, we're actually going to begin by folding in half from this point to this point so that our crease goes from point to point. Once you've done that, go ahead and open your paper up and now fold this edge here to the center. And if you're faster than me, you'll be doing the same thing on the other side as well. If you're slower than me, you're still doing the same thing on the other side, <laughs> but you get to watch me do it as you do it. I'm going to go ahead and rotate the paper into this position, flip it over, and now fold this top point down as far as it will go, which means you'll be making a crease that goes from that point to that point. And now we can go ahead and flip the paper back over, open both of these sides up, and I'm now going to fold this top edge here into the center crease. Do the same thing on this side. And your plane should now look like this. We'll now go ahead and flip the paper over again and I'm going to fold this point here up to the top edge or top point of the plane. And now I'm going to fold this edge here into the center. And I'll do the same thing on this side. And 
and your plane should look like this. We'll now go ahead and open the paper up. And I'm actually going to back way out here. I'm going to completely unfold my plane. And with the side that started face down, I have my paper in this orientation. I want to rotate it and I'm going to fold this point right here. You can see you've got this horizontal crease, this diagonal crease meeting at the edge. I'm folding that point right there, right to my center crease. You could also view this as landing this edge here along that diagonal crease. And I'm not creasing all the way across. I am just making a little crease from this crease here to the edge. Let me go ahead and make the crease and I'll unfold it and you'll see I've only creased this little section right here. So if I've got it in that initial starting position, this runs parallel to the center crease from this point to where that horizontal crease intersects the edge. So I'll do the same thing over here. I'm just pulling that point down to the center and making a crease that goes from there out. Okay, and now I'm going to fold this whole top triangle behind again fold in on each of these, flip the paper over, fold this up. And now instead of folding in like this, I'm going to open the pocket up and fold the edge in. So the pocket itself does not get folded. And now I'm going to once again, flip the paper over and I'm actually going to rotate it now so that this point is facing toward me. And your plane should look like this. And we're going to perform a swivel fold now, which is the most difficult step of this plane. Uh, and we're going to start by locating this crease right here and basically opening this pocket along that crease and make sure it opens all the way to the center. And you're going to swing this forward and as you do so, your reference is actually going to be what was this edge right here. That becomes a crease that you can refer to and you want to land that crease along this edge. So I'm pulling this toward myself and looking to line that crease up with the edge. And once I successfully line that crease up like that, I can then press my layers flat there and there. And once you do that on one side, you can do it on the other side as well. So I'm opening this pocket up, just reaching in, pulling toward myself along this existing crease. And I begin to flatten it by pushing that sideways and then looking to land this crease on the edge. And once I've achieved that, I can flatten all these layers. Just like so. Okay, and now I'm going to rotate it yet again, and I'm going to just pull this tab down along its existing crease. Do the same thing on this side. And I want to tuck these flaps into this pocket. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to kind of open this side up enough, and I'm going to reverse this crease here and that second diagonal crease there. So this crease that's currently vertical for me and the one right next to it both need to be reversed. So I start with this crease right here and I, it can help to even like use your hand to pull that pocket open and you just kind of begin to fold on that crease. Can get a little tricky right there toward the center. Maybe this is the trickiest step, but once you get this crease to reverse, it's really not too bad. You just shove the layers in like so, gently massage them into place and it should flatten nicely just like that. And now we'll do the same thing on this side. I'm reversing those same creases. Just like so, and you can see those layers are now inside the pocket. And your plane should look like this. We are now ready to uh, fold our wing creases and uh, we're looking for on this side of the paper right here, we're looking for the point where this pocket is intersecting the center crease and I'm just pulling this layer open straight to that point and now I want to make my crease go starting from that point 
down to this point here. Just like so. And now I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, starting my crease up there, aiming for this point down here. Okay, and we'll go ahead and close those up. We're just saving those creases for later. And now I'm going to fold this into the center. I'm looking at this edge, folding into the center, just like that. Actually, I'm going to open that up because I want to make a reference point first. So I'm going to fold this top point down to that edge right there. Crease across. And now I'm going to fold this in. Fold, or well, sorry. Open that back up. Fold this in. Fold this side in. And now I'm going to open this and I'm looking for that crease where it hits the center, that's where I'm starting the top portion of this crease, and then I'm aiming for this point right down here, and just swinging this back open, and this is going to make the canards of the plane. And then I'll do the same thing over here, just folding this side to match the first side. So your plane should look like this, but You'll notice the canards have a little pocket on them that we want to get rid of. So I'm going to now, that I have no longer a need for this layer here, I'm going to unfold it like that and swing this whole triangle here in under this triangle. So I'm just reversing this crease right there. Just like that. And now when I fold this in, that out like that, this in and out on my existing creases, everything's nice and aerodynamic at the front and we can fold our wings out along those existing creases. And now we're actually going to want to make a crease along this remaining layer here that goes right along this edge and this edge. And I'm going to show you how I like to do that. This is going to be a jet fold where we make both of those creases simultaneously. So we're going to flip the paper over and look at it from this side. And make sure that your center crease here is a valley crease. And I want you to grab the plane in each hand and basically reach behind right at this point, right there where the wings are meeting. And you're just going to kind of bend the nose forward and hold it like this and bring the two sides together. And the crease you're going to make, you want to run right along these edges. So as I bring this together, I'm looking under here and I'm lining those up so that my crease is going to be right in the right place. And then I can actually just flatten the whole plane just like this. And if I unfold that, you can see I've placed a crease right along that edge. Okay, and now make sure that your canards are tucking properly into place. And when you set your plane down, it should look just like this. You'll notice that we have a little extra paper that goes beyond what is going to be the top edge of our cockpit. And I'm just going to fold that behind going right along the edge of that layer. And once I do that on one side, I'll go ahead and flip the paper over and do it on the other side as well. And now I am ready to go ahead and fold the tail up. And the way I'm going to do that is I start by just kind of reversing a section of this crease here. And once I pinch that in my uh, thumb and forefinger, I can pull on it and you'll see that kind of pulls up in the middle and controlling the point where it reverses from a valley to a mountain will determine how big your tail is. So you can kind of pull that as far forward as you want, but look at about where I have it. 
and you want the back edge of your fin to be perpendicular to this edge right there. So you can see again about where mine is and as far as where that spine is and then line it up about like so. And then once you do that, you can kind of pinch these layers and crease them. Okay, and now we are ready to fold our wings up just like so and the canards up and we'll do this on both sides and now you can see we pretty much have a finished plane it just doesn't quite lock together yet so all we have to do is set the paper in this position and I'm folding this back edge here up into that section right there. Just like so. And then I'm actually going to fold it a second time as well, folding this edge up in. Right about like that. And that will lock everything together. So now your plane is locked, it looks amazing, and all you have to do is give this a test throw and see if you need a bit of up elevator. If it's diving down, then you may need to bend the back edges of the wings up just slightly, but as always, just test it first and see if you need that at all. So with all of that said, thank you so much for watching this video and good luck flying your plane.